The third book of Moses in the Hebrew Bible is titled simply Waigra, meaning, and he called, the first words in the book. In our English Bible, it bears the name associated with the Levites, although they're only mentioned in two verses in chapter 25. It is full, however, with the Levites' vocabulary. Frequently, the words priest, blood, offering, and sacrifice appear, and the Hebrew word godesh, translated holy or holiness, is used more than 150 times. The first verse sets the stage for the drama to follow. God speaks to Moses, not out of a burning bush or from Mount Sinai, but out of the tabernacle of the congregation, where the Lord would take up residence among his people. This book lays the foundation for the climax of history, the cross of Christ, and the means not only of reconciling rebel sinners to a holy God, but of maintaining that relationship with him, ultimately in heaven forever. Although there are differences of opinion on the structure of the book, it seems to take its cue from the two sides of our dealings with God. The Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity, 2 Timothy 2.19. There is relationship which is established on sacrifice, as discussed in chapters 1 to 17, and fellowship which is dependent on separation from evil and intimacy with God, as seen in chapters 18 through 27. As we see from the complexity of this book, sin is a complicating influence in our lives, and God certainly takes sin seriously. Therefore, the antidote to sin will also be as complex as necessary to deal with every facet of the problem. We needed a solution that would include a remedy for our sin nature, our falling far short of God's standard, our alienation from the life of God, our wrong appetites and dissatisfaction, and our unsuitability to him. We were not his type. The offerings taught in Leviticus display the person and work of Christ shining through the prism of inspired typology so that we may better see the wonders of our salvation. Griffith Thomas calls these two sections the way of approach to God. Sidlow Baxter calls them the ground of fellowship, sacrifice, and the walk of fellowship, separation. Whatever approach you take to the book of Leviticus, be sure that you, by faith, are standing on holy ground. What we have in this third foundation stone of the Bible, if understood properly, are a series of audio-visual demonstrations of Christ and his magnificent work as the one mediator between God and men, the one who gave himself a ransom for all. This how-to book on holiness comes right from God's heart to ours because he believes, whatever the world may think, that holiness and happiness go together. And that's a scripture snapshot of the book of Leviticus.